afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to see all of you here today to join us this afternoon. I hope you're feeling good. Hmm, where is Hawa? Ya Abu Panasnya! <sighs> Why is it so hot behind? Hello, Machi. Where do you go? Oh, you know, just backstage checking on the children. Oh, yes. It's about time for their performance. Before I forget, hi everyone, I'm Crystal from Block 277 and I'm Hawa from Block 408 and welcome to Nishan East K2 Graduation Ceremony! <laughs> the theme for this year is Our Singapore, Our Story. We'll take a cruise of Singapore's history from where she first started as a small island and progress into what she is today. Oh yay! I love taking the cruise! Where are we going? My dear Crystal, it's just an expression. All right, let me explain to you. <clears throat> a long, long time ago, during the 14th century, Singapore was just a small fishing village. How lovely will it be to sit by the river catching fishes for my dinner? Oh my, yes. you and your daydreams. Never mind, I shall introduce to you the first performance for today that will bring to light the kampong spirit during the good olden days. Let's welcome the children from Block 288 Einstein with their performance titled Semangat Kampong.
Tukang kata semua tolak tepi Asal senang di hati Macam titik pulang petang diaja Dan melenggang bibirnya merah Demi mama raka Kain di sebelah Petisnya membayang Itu dia nona Singapura Itu dia nona Singapura Itu dia nona Singapura Thank you children Such a great performance to start the whole event Their performance reminds me of someone very important And he plays a key role for changing Singapore into what it is today Do you know him? Well, of course we know him This is very easy He is the handsome Ang Mo Mr. Sir Stanford Raffles That's right Apparently, during that time He was looking for a trading location and accidentally landed on the small island of Singapore. He fell in love with our country and the strategic oh, wait, 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 wait. The story is like this. He <laughs> came to Singapore and then he fell in love with me. And then the people here. Hmm, I think right. it's time you stop your daydreaming. <laughs> As I was saying, Sir Stanford Raffles quickly met with the Sultan of Johor and got permission to develop Singapore into a free trading port. Oh, I know. This is when the Portuguese came into Singapore. The Portuguese were vibrant people, and that is exactly what our next item is all about. Let's welcome the children from Block 408, Class B2B, dancing to Go and Kodidin Ho.
amazing performance. Well, do you know that the Portuguese was not the only group of people that came to Singapore? Well, in 1826, Penang and Malacca came together to create a trading port city called the Straits Settlements. News spread like wildfire across the archipelago. And that was when the Bugis, Peranakan Chinese, and also Arab traders flocked to Singapore. Our next item is going to showcase a 1950s Malay song about the classic beauty of ladies in the era going about their daily routine. Strong, classic and beautiful. Here is our Nona Singapura from Block 408 P2A. Good. Hi, the children look so soft and feminine dancing to all those traditional moves, right? Thank you, P2A. Reminds me of my good old kampong days. We Malays were not just exposed to our own traditional dance, but we were also taught the different dances from other ethnic groups. And this only happened when Singapore became a multiracial country ever since she developed into a trading pot. There were so many kinds of dance, like Chinese dance, Malay dance, and also Indian dance. Our next item is an Indian folk dance that uses more intricate feet stepping and props. It is known as the stick dance, and is usually performed during village festivals to express joy and happiness. Now let's put our hands together for Block 408 B2C with their performance, Kolatam.
thank you P2C for that very colorful dance. I'm pretty sure they have, must have worked so hard to practice with their little props. Ah, look at me! Crystal, why are you wearing a red scarf over your head? This is Hong Tou Jing. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Can you repeat? Me? Sam Sui. Sam Sui. Sam Sui. Oh, I know who Sam Sui women are. They're always in a black or dark blue Sam Fu and their trademark, the red headgear. That's right, Hawa. Most Sam Sui women originated from southern China and only came into Singapore in the mid-1930s. They usually work as general laborers in the construction industry, helping in the building of Singapore. I see. So now let's invite our next performance of an elegant Sam Sui dance titled Joy in the Alley from Block 277 K2B. Now, let us welcome our some sweet boys and girls.
the ball right